Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to log defects in Jira. So logging defects is pretty simple and straightforward. You just need to go to the top header and click on this create button. Once you click on create, it will open the create issue template and you can select issue type as bug. So by default bug is selected just select the project for which in which you want to raise this defect and select the issue type as bug provide the defect summary so i'll just say test defect and by default it will select the current logged in user as the reporter if there are components then so select the components so for example this defect is related to database i'll select the database component here provide the description in the description you have to provide steps to reproduce uh, expected result and actual result so provide all the details don't need to worry about the fixed version uh, need to select the priority uh, if there are labels suggested so for example there are uh, you this this defect is associated with a particular you know, like table type or, or the database linking issues and provide labels around those which make it simple to search for this particular these particular issue types then in under environment section you provide the environment details if there are attachment provide the attachments and uh, linked issues if it is linked to a particular test case or story uh, provide the details around that and provide the sprint or epic link and then create it will create that particular defect you'll see that uh, issue has been successfully created and if you open that it's a type of bug and all the details have been populated all right now as a tester ideal um, ideally i mean most of the time what you will be doing is you will be logging defects as and when you are executing the test cases rather than um, creating uh, the defect uh, randomly so I'll also show you how you can um, log defects as and when you are doing the test execution using the Zephyr uh, test management plugin so in the previous sessions we have already seen how you have uh, how you can create the test cycle so we'll directly go to the test cycle that we have created and here under UI you can see there are certain test cases that I have added to execute right so as a tester you will just go ahead and execute the test cases that are assigned to you so to in order to execute just click on this e icon for the test that you want to execute and start with the execution so if you start with the first step so open Mumba login URL in Internet Explorer just open this URL and see what's the actual result what's the expected and what's the actual so if that particular URL didn't launch, it failed. So you just mark the status as failed. Enter the comments why it failed. What were the what was the reason? If you have any attachment logs, attach those. And here in this defect section, you can directly um, mention the previous defect if you have already logged, or you can create a new issue directly from here. So just click on create new issue and will open same create issue template select the issue type as bug provide all the details so I'll just provide um, test test bug and then click create so now you can see the defect has been created and it has been linked against that particular step okay now if you want to link the same defect in the overall test execution then you have a defect section you just type in start typing in MOP 35 and just link that particular defect here all right and change the execution status overall execution status to fail now if you go back to the UI component here you can see that status has been marked as failed and the defect that you have linked has been linked here and you can see MOP 35 is linked 
and at the step level you can see the defect as well as overall test level you can see that particular link is available okay so this is uh, pretty much all about logging defects in jira in next tutorial we will learn about the defect lifecycle in jira thank you